If you're looking for the fastest and the cheapest Ultimate Team coins, then you'll find them at the biggest FIFA coin site on the web, FIFA UT Coin Store. Use the code BUCKS at checkout to get 5% off. Hey guys, how's it going? Mars Bucks here, and today we're going to be talking up the concept or the idea of throwback cards in FIFA Ultimate Team. Now, this is an idea that I came up with probably about two weeks ago, but I haven't really done anything until now. And to be fair, um, this has been inspired uh, because of some recent goings on in the Ultimate Team market, which we will get to shortly. But I should also mention really quickly that I'm pretty confident I'm not the only person that's come up with this idea because even though I haven't really seen any other videos about it or I haven't really watched anyone's, uh, I'm pretty confident that some other YouTubers may have already made a video similar to this. But either way, I haven't actually seen any of those videos, so whether I end up becoming uh, quite similar to something you've already seen, I'm not too sure. If that happens, then I guess that happens. But either way, these are my own personal, uh, you know, sort of views on how throwback cards would work in Ultimate Team. Now, in case you've been living under a rock for the last two weeks, or at least you haven't checked your YouTube sub box for two weeks, then you should know that there have been a few players that have been popping up on the Ultimate Team market that are very, very rare because the club on their card is not actually the club that they play for, but instead was the club that they had previously been uh, playing for before being transferred away in the previous transfer window. These three players in particular are Radamel Falcao, of course, currently playing for Manchester United. There was a Monaco card of him. Then there is, of course, Negredo, obviously playing for, I believe, Valencia now. There was a Man City card of him. And then there was a QPR Remy. Of course, he's currently playing for Chelsea. Now, the origin behind these cards is meant to do with someone, you know, losing cards or something going wrong with their account. EA refunded the cards and it happened before the transfer window. I don't know what exactly happened there, but either way, we're not going to get into too much detail about it because that's not what we're focusing on. Now, obviously, ever since these cards have been popping up, you know, people have actually gone ahead and even made fakes. They've Photoshop, uh, for example, uh, a bail at Tottenham, for example, even though that wouldn't uh, even though that wouldn't work, and even a Manchester United Ronaldo card, which a lot of people would love. And even though these aren't real cards, it's got a lot of people talking, and it's got the FIFA community up in a buzz. What if these cards actually existed? And so, throwback cards are now a hit, and everyone seems to want them. And so, without further ado, let me talk you through how I would see throwback cards working in FIFA Ultimate Team. First things first, you don't want to overload us too much with throwback cards. I think they've got to be something pretty special. So what I'm thinking is one every week, which probably means you get one throwback player, one throwback card of a player every team of the week. Now, for an example, let's use Cesc Fabregas. Obviously, he's recently transferred to Chelsea, and he's got around about an 84 rated card right about now. That may or may not go up recently, but either way, he's at Chelsea. He's 84 rated currently at the moment. Now, let's say that he was the player that was the, he was the throwback player of the current team of the week. Now, obviously, what you'd want to do is you would take one of his ultimate team cards of when he was at Barcelona. Probably, let's say, for example, his highest rated card when he was there, which is an 88 rated centre midfielder. You would then take that card, its stats, everything, and perfectly recreate that player in FIFA 15 or technically in FIFA 16 ultimate team. The same overall, the same stats, the same position, everything. The only thing that's different is, of course, the club that he plays for. Instead of it being Chelsea, it would be Barcelona. You'd give him the pro profile picture that he had when he was at Barcelona with the same profile picture that he had for the card and everything. And maybe even if they wanted to go the whole nine yards, that's probably a good one. That's a good one. I'll, I'll stick with that. The whole nine yards, then maybe even give him like the face that he had or try to recreate his face from back when he was at Barcelona. And you would release one card like that every single week. He'd be in packs for the one week. And then of course, next team of the week will come out and we'd come along with another uh, throwback player. Now, for example, let's say that EA were to make a throwback card of a player that was at a club before Ultimate Team even existed. So there has never been an Ultimate Team card of this player at this club. Now, obviously, there's a few players that have come to mind here. You, of course, have got even Manchester United, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, but because he's been in talks quite recently, I'm thinking about another player. Let's say, for example, a Ronaldinho for Barcelona. There has never been a Ronaldinho Barcelona card ever because he obviously moved to Milan, I believe, around FIFA... FIFA 09 or FIFA 08, so around that time, and Ultimate Team was not a thing back then. So what you do is, you go back to the last, or I don't know, you go back to some point, maybe at the peak of his powers at, Man uh, at Barcelona, you go and you see what rating he had in FIFA 07, 08, or whatever game it is, and then you recreate that overall in Ultimate Team. So I've gone back, I've had a look and seen what Ronaldinho's rating was back then, he would be a 91 rated card center attacking midfielder with some unbelievable stats, okay? 89 shooting, 90 pace, 96 dribbling, obviously five-star skill moves. It's just crazy. This card in ultimate team would be unbelievable. Imagine that 
in a team of the way. Imagine packing that in, oh, I just couldn't believe it. But that's what you do for a player that has never had an ultimate team card of the club that you are going to be throwing back to. And obviously, if you did do, if that was to happen, obviously you go back to a game, you'd have a look at what their overall is, and then you would recreate their stats accordingly, and then boom, there you go. And so guys, that's basically about it. I think I've covered everything. You'd have one, uh, you'd have one throwback player per team of the week. Uh, if the player that you are having making a throwback card for has already had a card, in ultimate team at that club then you would recreate the card and if the player has not had an ultimate team card at that club then you just go back have a look at what the rating was at the time of him being at the club in a previous fifa and then recreate the card accordingly with all the stats and the overall so that is pretty much how i would think a throwback card would work i mean there are so many great possibilities for some cards to be recreated and i would love to see it and it's a buzz in the fifa community I don't know if EA is going to do it or not. I mean, I know that this is a thing amongst other, you know, amongst other things. I believe that, I don't know if Madden do it, but I know that NBA 2K do it as well. And it would be great. It would be so terrific to see. But I guess we'll have to wait and see until FIFA 16. And that's a long way to wait. And, you know, it's a brilliant idea. I'd love to see them do it. Obviously, I doubt, I mean, they could, but I really doubt it's happening in FIFA 15. It'd be sick if they did. But either way... It's a great idea, and I'm sure it'd make EA a lot of money. It would keep us happy. It's a win-win win -win scenario. Hopefully it happens. But either way, that's it for me. Thank you for watching this episode, guys. I'm your Rosa Game of the Masterbox. Peace out, and have a good one. Bye-bye.